Liverpool fans want a signing, if nothing else to move Jordan Henderson and Fabinho back into their best positions in midfield. The Reds though insist they're not likely to be making a transfer move later this month, but what steps would be needed for them to do so? Step 1. Identify a suitable target With only three senior centre-backs heading into this season, it's not inconceivable to think that Liverpool would be looking to add another one at some point soon. But finding an appropriate target is not so simple. Diotu Pumacano, Jules Kunde, Ben White, Ozan Kabak, the list of names who've been linked goes on. But if Liverpool do anything in the transfer market, it has to be for the exact right player rather than a short-term stopgap. Step 2. Agree a suitable fee. If Liverpool have a player identified for the summer, but can't accelerate those plans for whatever reason, they will wait. Take Upa Meccano as a hypothetical example, for instance, who has a release clause that will come into effect in a few months. Liverpool won't overpay, and they can't just bully certain clubs into selling without agreeing to do so. Step 3. Move someone else on. Unless Liverpool were to sign an English centre-back, or Virgil van Dijk does not make the Premier League squad for the second half of this season, then someone will have to drop out. That's because Liverpool will have reached the maximum number of foreign players they're allowed if they believe Van Dijk can make his return before the end of the campaign. Divock Origi would be the obvious choice to move on, but finding him a destination could take time. Liverpool are not pushing Origi out, but would not stand in his way if a club came in for him. And those three steps underline the difficulties that Liverpool face. They may well want a centre-back, and there is an argument to say that their need is sufficient to change their transfer philosophy to get one, but that simply is not the Liverpool way.